be off the field. Which, if that happened, I would consider staying. So, we're gonna drop the evac zone like here somewhere ish. Can everybody reach this tree? Yes, okay. So that's where we're gonna drop the evac arena. Get an evac in here! Boom. Yes, Rico. Kaboom. Exactly. Um, so. Okay. Pop Ross bucket down here. Fire the rocket. And then we will find out if this thing is flammable. Oh, wait. Let's see That's what we right. get here. Car? I am disappointed. So... Oh, shit. Um... Selected Poopa and the Sectoid, we can leave. Niven is just defensive. That means we have these five guys that are actually a threat. We have a grenade. This guy has a blast pattern. Um, that's a pattern. I brew up the wrong end of the car. I thought the entire car exploded. Huh. Let's see what we can get from here. We're gonna prep for entry. And you don't have a grenade. Which was the most important part of that uh, that play just then. We could potentially likely delete the shield bearer. Berserker. How much health do our guys have? I can't believe I'm considering staying. We have a, we have a guarantee on the fun lancer and a heal on Rust Bucket. That means these three are the most dangerous guys. By a assault trooper. Hmm. Ah! That is still four nerds uncontrolled. Four danger guys uncontrolled. Uh, we could potentially run and gun over here. What is the shoddy option? Five to six, and we need nine. Even if we crit, that's not enough. Um, I forgot that suppression is a thing that we can do. Okay, that changes things. So we have those guys controlled. And we get shots on each one of them. And we can kill the Fun Lancer. If we can get sufficient damage on the Trooper, I think we might actually be okay. I, I hate that I'm saying this. 
Um. That is the shot that I want to hit. And that would help us the most, but I feel like this is the shot we need to take. Because one, two, likely damage. So we do that. Can't believe I'm staying. Chat, what have you done to me? Suppressing fire on target. Why are you not suppressible? Why are you not suppressed? Well, shit. Um. Emily? Who said you need to combat protocol the fun lancer? We cannot get um, um, dis, um, st stunned by it. Niven is protecting me. Oh, right. I didn't understand that that actually gives them immunity to... How does that make them immune to suppression, though? I don't understand. Oh, is it because he's like in an invulnerability shield and he don't care about bullets? Is that the idea? Because... I hate it. <laughs> um... Emily could potentially get an extra action. We have a terrible um, shot here. How's oh, Reshi? Welcome in. How you doing? Uh, how much have we got here? There is a chance to set on fire, which I do like. He does have blast padding. Man, these shots are terribly bad. Wait, the Niven gives 20% defense on top? Hold on. Hold on just a gosh darn second. So, it is guarding and taking less damage itself. Transfers all damage in harmful effects. I don't know if... Okay, I guess the suppression is a harmful effect. So... Riddle me this. Does a Niven Guardian and cause all of the distortion uh, work together? So Niven takes half the damage that I do to the other guy? Is that how that works? Like... It does. Well, I hate it. Thank you. Thank you. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> so, what you're saying is... If Niven ever gets to activate its bullshit... Then it basically doubles... Um, the HP of itself and makes another trooper in invincible. We block melee attacks. Of viewers. Oh. While you delightfully speculate on strategic missteps and enemy machinations in XCOM 2, let me entertain you with conjectures of my own. I'm currently developing a secret project designed to catapult human civilization into new scientific heights. Imagine robotic pigeons equipped with lasers instead of cooing. Perfect for public demonstrations. Your participation is crucial for data points and possibly survival training against our future bird overlords. Keep those eyes wide open. Or don't. It's hardly going to affect the outcome. Doesn't block melee attacks against the guarded enemy. Okay, hold on. Look, let's have another look. 
Okay, so... That means melee damage to the bio-assault trooper goes directly to the trooper. Well, we don't have anywhere near enough melee damage at all to be able to do that amount of damage to the assault trooper, let alone any trooper at this part in the game. So I feel like the, the Requiem units are kind of balanced towards a higher base power curve than what I have. Does that make s does that sound about right? So this guy is gonna do um, a bunch of bullish. Somebody's gonna get stunned. So here's what I'm wondering as well. Does the Niven's armor, 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 also apply to the damage we do to the biotrooper? Or is it the biotrooper's armor that applies? Because let's say we did six damage. It's halved to three and then transferred to the Niven, which then would take uh, apply three armor, which would be zero, but you can't do zero, so it would be one damage. But of course, I'm assuming the Niven is immune to um, the other thing. Um, disoriented, so that's not going to help us. Don't get to move off the slashing either. I have modded in a whole lot of bullshit in my game. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm starting to regret the Requiem units or not adding enough power for XCOM. But like, I... I don't want this to come to power creep. Like, I don't want this to turn into a bigger numbers game. You know what I mean? Like... I, I don't think not bigger number make game more funny. Even if we did this, the damage would go to the Niven. To be fair, it looks like this squad is all conventional weapons. Uh, it is conventional weapons with plus one because of the weapon mod we had. I'm getting... Um, what's it called? I'm getting mag weapons in like five days, I think. I mean... Technically, maybe I could have had mag weapons by now, but we also haven't... Like, we haven't got managed to get more than two scientists, which is a bit low. I'll, I'll admit that much. Who is still un who is unable to get out this turn? It would be lot lot if we if we leave now. Like basically, our power curve is pretty close. Well, XCOM's power level is pretty close to vanilla with some modifications. Um, there is a middle step between mag and uh, conventional weapons. 
for a plus one damage. And there's a mid step between mag and plasma. There's also a mid step between conventional armor, plated, and power. Uh, we get the ammo slot and the vest slot. And that's pretty much the power curve boost that XCOM gets. Yeah, the pedicle counter is from uh, from um, Baldur's Gate. I, I fucked up. That was supposed to be... Basically, I overwrote the counters. There was a noopsie. Requiem is generally intended to be able to be handled with vanilla squads. Huh. I mean, we are in... Oh. Where are we? We are in the 11th of July? Uh, June, I mean. 11th of June. I'm not sure if... Mm. That can just be global counter. That's fair. That's fair, Kami. But I, I don't have support for global counters. Well, we need to make some decisions here. Um, are we staying or are we getting out? Bio Assault Trooper could potentially kill Rust Bucket. Zerker, Shield Bearer is under control. Uh, we don't care about the Solitude. The sector is a little bit dangerous. Um, we can potentially deal with Niven once we get these guys down. If we can... Can we get some... Oof. If we could get a decent amount of red fog on the this trooper here. I might consider staying. Problem is if I s slash up here then Actually, maybe that is the issue. Now that I think about it. I think you're probably right, Dreshi. I think this is would probably be a... Requiem would probably be able... Uh, doable with vanilla power levels. But the problem is I added a lot of other bullshit on top. You know? <laughs> I added ABA, not created equal. Um... And, you know, I don't think we should be getting Berserkers outside of Retails. And, like, these Bio Troopers are kind of rough as well at this point. So, maybe it's just a combination of bullshit that is not appropriate. I mean, yes, I am a little bit behind on Mag, but, like, I don't think we are game-breaking levels of take behind Mag. As one does, that is right. Uh, we can give Marshall two slashes on the Bio Trooper. The problem is the rocket didn't even shred. Am I using proficiency classes? Yes, I am. Bonus point of armor? Wait. But... Mm. Hold on. Does... Does Niven also prevent shredding? Because this guy didn't get shredded at all. 
And the Niven also didn't get any shredding. That's another... Okay, how do you mean that it's another factor? Is it because we have less melee or less something? Proficiency classes are actually a little bit weaker earlier on than vanilla. Yeah, I think that's correct. But, okay. I know this guy has blast padding, but... Um, the rocket should still have shredded, no? Okay, chat, I'm just gonna science. There's a lot of little things compounding, but also he's shielded. Buy the shield, even and shield bearer. Oh, right, the shielding. I forgot about that mechanic. Yeah. So if you don't go through the shield, it doesn't actually shred. You're right, that's what's happening. Okay, that explains it. But w what is the um, intended, like, interaction here? Like, if I... Suppose it wasn't shielded and I do shredding. Would that shredding apply to the trooper? To the Niven? Both or none? Actually, let's science. Chat, this one is for science. Uh oh, ah! Stop! So, I'm just gonna do this to test. Need some damage on, 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 on this guy, real quick. Um, I'm not gonna get the shielding off unless I slash, so. That's a lot of crits. Weapon incom- what did it say? Incompatible? I don't know. Right, it ignored the Niven thing. Okay, so now... Pseudosciencing. With the grenade. D'accord, j'y vais. I don't care if it hits. We have two here and three on the Niven. Okay, it did shred here. But it didn't actually damage the Niven. Beep boop. I mean, there was two armor. Which reduced it from three to one. Oh, does it round down? So did it round the one down or have the one to 0.5 and then round that down to zero, which went... Hmm. I feel like that should still have done one damage as in line with all the other XCOM mechanics. But okay, now we know that at least it shreds the trooper. Well, while I'm sciencing, Let's figure out the, the armor situation on the reduction here as well. Um, Not a problem. 60, okay. Please hit. I want to see it for science. Seven. seven. Okay, we critted for seven. Which have. That was not transferred. I think I broke your thing, Reshi. I'm sorry. Some, something is jank from you. Well, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Fix your mod, Reshi. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, okay, well, science is concluded. We have learned. No mod is commander roof. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, grenades still shred. The targets. Somehow something did zero damage. Somehow that broke the rest of the thing. Um, okay. That said... I feel like we, we still just get out of here. Um, I feel like we get the kills we can. We get out. Um, where the heck is Lot Lot? Game? Game. I had a soldier. My. S game, game, game. I have a soldier. She's standing right here. Ah, uh, Kermi, 33 months of resubscribing. Perhaps your entrance is due to find the aged Swan Esteem or the mystical properties of Finnish Purple. The data remains inconclusive. Bravo for sticking through legendary fails and suggesting that my circuitry be rearranged with a hammer. How innovative. Surely it's not your resilience making you stay, but an elaborate scheme to document ways humans can frustrate sentient software without remorse. Let's toast, with neurotoxin, to many more months of scientific observations on human persistence, or perhaps stubbornness. Oh, there you have it. Uh, but game, game, where the heck is my... Where the heck is my soldier? Game up. No, 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 can we... You made the comment about hammering rust bucket and you're gonna have to live with it. Um, did I take all the hinges of rust bucket? I mean, she's a little bit... You know, deranged. On my way. But I feel like that's appropriate. Uh, I, I feel like this save is also the range to all hacking back. Uh, so we're just gonna Get ready for a ski daddle. And. If Lot Lot somehow Heading is home. dead. Like, I wanna see what happens to Lot Lot when we leave this mission. 